bad crash on one of the highways in Israel, a young man named Yigal Tal was badly injured. They were lying there on the side of the road. The ambulances were coming, were called. In the meantime, there was a soldier, an Israeli soldier, about 20 years old, who happened to drive by, and he saw what was going on. He picked up Yigal Tal, drove him off to the hospital, and handed him into the doctor's, the emergency room. They took him over. They brought him up. He followed him up. They took him into surgery, and they called the family. The family arrived, and surgery was being performed. In the meantime, the soldier saw that he was no longer needed, so he turned around, and he left. He went to his base. So Yigal Tal thankfully had a full recovery, and his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Tal, were very, very curious because they would have liked to meet the soldier and thank him. Now, the Tal's owned a small grocery store. And what they did was they put up a big sign on the grocery store that on this and this date, at a certain place, a soldier saved our son's life, and we would like to meet him. If you know of such a soldier, please uh, let us know. About a year and a half later, a woman walks into the store, and she sees the sign. And she says, oh, there was a traffic accident. You know what? I think the young man you're looking for might be my son. My son told me about a year and a half ago this took place, right? She says, yeah. Very excited. Mrs. Tal is very excited. She said, about a year and a half ago, my son told me he was on his way to his army base, and there was a traffic accident. He picked up a young man, and he dropped him off at the hospital, but he couldn't wait around. He had to go to the base. And I'm pretty sure that it's my son. And she made a phone call, and sure enough, it was her son that had saved Egal Tal's life. And the lady in the store, Mrs. Tal, says to her, listen, how could I ever thank you? And this woman takes a look at her, and she says, could I speak to you in the back room? Tal thought that was very strange. Okay, what does she need? Maybe she needs money. I'll give her money if she wants money. Uh, she saved my son's life. And they go into the back room. The woman says to her, I want to tell you something. This is not the first time we've met. Really? She says, yes, I happen to be in the neighborhood now, and I stopped in your store because I needed something to drink. This is not the first time we've met. See, my name is Mazal Kaduri. You don't remember, but I do. About 20 years ago, I was expecting. And due to my life circumstances, I was ready to have an abortion. I happened to walk in here into this store, the first and only time I've ever been here besides today. And you saw that I was upset, and you asked me what was bothering me, and I stole my heart to you. And you convinced me not to have an abortion. Well, I had a son. My son was the soldier that saved your son's life. So we understand in life that we don't do things because of the reward and the benefits that will come down the line. We do things because we have to do them. But we also have to remember there will be rewards and there will be benefits. Music